Hello guys, my name is Fen Phoenix. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, on this uh, channel, I'll be playing some stealth games, and right now I'm going to play a stealth game called The Dark Mob. Well, it's it's not really a game; it's it's more of a uh, a, pl a platform. Uh, but anyway, the mission I'll be playing is called um, The Beleaguered Fence, and uh, I'm really a big fan of stealth, so. I'll be playing this uh, really, really stealthily, and I hope you enjoy the the tension, the kind of tension that uh, I'll be creating through my my stealth experience. It's really, really fun. It's really fun. Um, so let's let's go. Okay. Well, I'll be playing on difficult because anything else, I just don't really find entertaining. So. Uh, this is going to be uh, very stealthy and no more than two knockouts, but I won't be knocking anyone out because I don't, you know, it's kind of about exploration, so yeah. I don't really need to buy any of that equipment because it's kind of for people that are not really good on YouTube. So yeah, um, the beleaguered fence. Uh, I like that there's a lot of guards with torches going around, uh, because it kind of makes it harder, and, uh, uh, this is by Sotha, a great, uh, stealth master, undoubtedly, because, um, this mission's very good, and, um, yeah, uh, the, the, that's the front door, as you can see, it's kind of a screenshot with, uh, with segments, uh, that have been blurred and Photoshop filtered, um, it's, it's really skillful. Okay, so we, we press attack to start the mission. I don't really like that because attack sounds like an FPS game, but... I just love the world. I mean... Look at the bars. It kind of symbolizes a jail. I kind of wish the walking speed was slower, but we do have this speed, which is a little more my speed. Um, this wagon is a little too complex because there's a little too many crannies and nooks that you can look in, and it does tend to take a little bit of a long time to kind of appreciate all the pixels in this in this texture here. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we're hiding from a guy. Uh, it's it's really tense, and I really like the atmosphere of hiding from a guy. I mean, I might want to peek up above, but that might cause me to game over. So, oh, oh, okay. I got to be careful though. That's a window. I got. Oh. It's an open window. Okay. See, it pays to look around at everything and just take the atmosphere in. I don't like how I'm forced to pick up this candle. You see, I would have already got a game over there in a well-designed mission. This one seems a little buggy to me. Good. I'm just wondering if this guy might have any kind of stuff on his person, such as loot or equipment or anything. I'm just making sure that he is in REM phase and is not going to wake up immediately because I've already been making lots of noise and I really think it's prudent of me to sort of check on this guy every few seconds or so just to make sure that he is not going to wake up immediately 
I don't really understand why you'd put a butcher knife in a bread. This mission is a little odd and maybe not that good. Um, but even so, it is stealth, so at least it has that redeeming factor in it. I want to check that shelf, but first I have to check this strange wooden square because there might be some ants in it. Um, ants are not really part of the game, but there could be some new equipment, such as an ant gun. Uh, I don't really want to use anything with the word gun in it, but I do like to be a completionist and pick up the equipment anyway, so if there were an ant gun, I would definitely want to know about it. I don't think there is though, so I'll just have a look over here, but still being quiet. Let's go and check this guy again. Okay, careful. Careful. He might wake up from me, from me breathing. Okay, it looks like his eyes are closed. He's breathing at a regular pace. His legs are moving a bit, though. He might be waking up. No? Maybe not. Maybe that's just part of his sleeping animation. It could be. I mean, you never know. Okay, I think he's still in REM. So let's go check out the shelf. Okay, so the bottom doesn't uh, look to have anything on it at first glance, but I don't play a stealth game to rely on first glances, okay? You have to really look around your surroundings and be careful that this guy does not wake up. I think he's good. So, it looks like there may be nothing on this shelf, but first I have to turn on a light. But that's definitely going to wake him up, so I don't really know if I should. Possibly not. But since I'm going to be looking at the shelf really closely, I suppose I can make an exception. But I don't even have a light because I'm super pro, so never mind that. Okay, so here's a shelf. And it's got... Oh crap, I just made a footstep sound. I think I might game over. There is a flash bomb, which I won't use because it's for newbies. There's some gold, 50. And here is a rope arrow, which I can probably use to be stealthy. So, um... That's how you find the rope!